to the guy who had my heart in his bony fingered hands and slowly crushed it. I told myself I forgive you the day I stopped writing poetry about you. Today, however, is not that day. I was a wildfire born for self-destruction until you came along with your silly smiles, awkward jokes, crooked nose, and laugh that changed every time I heard it, yeah. and put out my smoldering, smoldering rage by offering me your friendship. From then on, we grew, spending years weaving ourselves together until we couldn't be told apart, using belly laughs, cheeky smiles, and yeah. secrets we traded like Pokemon cards to promise the pieces of our future led back to one another. But your lack of effort wedged 1,300 miles between us that never seemed to matter before, and suddenly six years of friendship was too short of a line to draw us back to each other. When I confessed to you my feelings, drawing them out in a jagged line of rambling, all you said was, I know, mm. and my heart deflated, <coughs> chipping away like flakes of dried paint from the picture I wanted to paint for you, yeah. I mean with you. In my eyes, you were born to do no wrong. You had the, you had the ability to walk on water, and I worshipped you. Yes. My blind devotion was a way for you to escape, and in your absence, I began to sink forgetting how to swim after years of using you as a lifesaver. My call for help was drowned out by your rapid flow of excuses for all the times you let me down. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Until awesome. finally yeah. you were too caught up in brainstorming a new way to validate your disappearance to notice I'd sank to the bottom of the sea of alibis you'd given me. Mm. There I became friends with the same flame that nearly caused my own demise yeah. before you came along. It, was never, it never truly went away. It just lay dormant under all the lies you told me and I believed. I, res I reserve you, your bony fingers, and all our happy memories, a spot in the center where the rage burns brightest, fueled by the pain I felt when you let me down. I was left to carry the weight of our friendship alone, and you enjoyed watching me fall apart, picking up the pieces of your future that, led, that held mine together so you could rearrange them in another direction. You let me drown, and now that I've learned to breathe again, it wasn't the water that replaced the air in my lungs, but the stench of your own self-hatred. Mm. Maybe inhaling so much of it made me hate you, too. Mm. At now. least for a moment, I hated you. Now I realize there's no reason. After all, I have you to thank for who I am today. Come on now. Yes. I used you as my personality. My identity was being your best friend. Until our friendship broke apart, I was left with nothing. So I rebuilt from the ground up, paving a new road from pieces of me left discarded by you and putting all the love and time I gave to you back into me until I was happier without you than I was with you. I told myself I'd forgive you the day I stopped writing poetry about you. Consider yourself forgiven. Yeah.